y'all so today is another real ass get ready with me if you guys are getting sick of these just tell me just let a bitch know please uh i just i did not know what to film today i don't know why i just like my mind is fucking blank today and i remember like thinking last week that i wanted to film something this week and i just couldn't remember what it was uh, and I, I can't find it anywhere like in my old videos of like me saying I don't really have time to look through all of them but um, I don't remember what I was gonna say I know at some point this week I do have to upload um, I don't know if I t did I tell you guys I might have told you on snapchat but I don't know if I've told you in video irresistible me um, as y'all know I work with them like with my extensions and stuff they send me extensions uh, for me to do reviews they contacted me again and sent me their um curling iron that has like a thousand different fucking barrels to it so at some point this week i told my rep anna from irresistible me that i would put that up this week um i just did my hair with it i filmed the cut in so if you guys want to know how i get like you know my semi wavy beachy whatever you want to call this hair i had to cut like two inches off my extensions because they were like so fried but anyways not what we're doing today today um i'm gonna do a real ass get ready with me with a 90s look a few videos ago i had mentioned um if you guys wanted like a real fucking legit ass 90s look and so many of you guys were like fuck yes girl let's do that so that's what we're gonna do today um I'm not going to do the foundation and everything else. Um, I'll probably do like foundation, um, contour, even though y'all know fucking bitch, we didn't contour in the 90s. The only motherfuckers that knew about contour in the 90s were professional runway makeup artists and drag queens. And drag queens in the 90s were not as prevalent as they are today. Even in the 90s, like drag queens had like a little bit more of a subtle contour than they do today um but i'm still gonna contour because the bitch needs some contouring okay okay we just i just can't i can't not contour i just can't so um i'm probably gonna go ahead and do my foundation and my contour and shit off camera and then i'm gonna come back and we're gonna do brows um, we didn't have no fucking highlighter in the 90s either. I don't know if I should have that or not. It's hard for me to go without highlight, but I may just do it. Um, I'm probably going to do some like super hella matte skin because that's what we did. When I, I grew up in the 90s, uh, if you didn't know that, I'm in my 30s. So I grew up in the 90s. I was a teenager in the 90s. Um, my 90 bt dubs if it's like really gloomy in here it is fucking storming outside it's like thundering and lightning it's getting crazy girl i don't know if we're like getting the aftermath from irma or what but it's getting a little crazy outside but anyways um i grew up in the 90s and i think i've said like on a q a like probably over a year ago um i was like super hella goth in the 90s if i can find uh, my picture of what I used to look like in the 90s. I will pop it up somewhere on the screen. I know that there I have a picture from the internet that's like really pixelated. I mean, you can get a general idea of like what it looks like. I got dog collars on and my hair is like jet black and like emo and black eyeliner and all that stuff. So hopefully you guys can get like a general idea. If not, I'll see if I can find something else. But anyways, um, so 90s i used to take the covergirl um face powder because i had fucking beautiful skin the most beautiful skin i don't know what happened while i fucking turned 30 girl my skin went to shit i got acne i used to get compliments on my skin when i was younger um a lot of my friends that i hung out with were like oh my god your skin's so pretty you don't even have to wear foundation and i didn't i would literally use like covergirl setting powder as my foundation and then lots of black eyeliner obviously nobody did anything to their fucking brows i think what i'm gonna do today is do soap brows because in the 90s i had these like big bushy brows um even though everybody else's were like itty bitty 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 that i didn't start doing until i started getting like a lot more gothy then the brows just left my face <laughs> and it became like sperm brow um, but when I was younger, I had like real bushy brows and I never fucked with them. I was just like, fuck it, fucking brows. Who does their brows? Nobody does their brows. 
um, until my friend was like, bitch, we need to do something about those brows because <laughs> they're a little crazy. I had like unibrow going on. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation off camera, my contour and stuff like that. Um, I don't, I, I don't know if I'm going to do highlighter yet. It just depends. I've, to, I've been sitting here talking for six fucking minutes and haven't even got into my, into my face yet. But let me go ahead and do that off camera. Um, and we will be back and we'll talk some more. Okay, okay. Got my foundation on. I didn't do contour. I thought, you know what? I'm not going to do contour. I'm not going to do it. My face feels real tight <laughs> right now. The sun is fucking coming out now. Like, the sun is out and it's raining. So, y'all know the drill. If the exposure goes in and out, the exposure fucking goes in and out. Um, anyways, my face. I have not, you know how long it's been since I put, like, this much powder on my face? You can see the fucking powder on my face. That was the 90s girl. That's what the fuck a bitch did. Okay, so um, let me, I'm gonna throw some powder over my eyes. I'm gonna do my brows now. Like I said, I'm gonna do soap brows because um, I'm not gonna, mm, I might fill them in a little. I don't know yet, we'll see. We'll see what happens, girl. We'll see what these soap fucking brows do. Um, my brows have grown out a lot since the last time I did soap brows. I haven't been doing it that much lately. I don't know if I have a brush that's not caked up with fucking, uh, what's it called? Um, brow products. Hold on. Give me a sec. Let me see if I can find a brush that's not disgusting. All right. That should be good. I got <laughs> the majority of the product out. So I'm just going to grab my Mario Badescu spray and spray my little bit of soap here. Oh shit. Cause I'm too lazy to go downstairs and wet it. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna find my Mac lingering pencil because uh, I'm pretty sure fucking Mac lingering was like around in the 90s. Maybe not the 90s, maybe early 2000s, but that bitch has been around forever. Um, I should have got all my stuff out first. One sec. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do too? I'm gonna put freckles on because I had freckles in the 90s. I have since burnt them all off with chemical peels. Um, but I did have a lot of freckles, so we gonna draw some freckles on, girl. Where is this motherfucking brown pencil at? You know what? We're not gonna use that pencil because I can't fucking find it. So I'm just gonna use my bodyography uh, powder and draw like some little hairs in here or something. My brows um, did not have like any particular shape to them especially back then because I didn't pluck them. So we're just gonna do just some little hairs here and there. Some little hairs here and there, girl. Gotta get them in some kind of shape, right? Cause I'm actually leaving my house today. I'm gonna put some brow gel in them to hold them up still and maybe put some kind of shape to them. Hopefully this doesn't end up being like something I can't wear out in public, you know what I mean? I do like to put brow gel on after I do my soap brows just because it covers up a little bit of that soap look, you know what I'm saying? Okay, what do you think, y'all? They're crazy enough? They are. Okay, so as far as, oh yeah, I wanna put freckles on. Let's put some freckles on real quick. I had, this is, this little like concealer collection from Measurable Difference that I got like in a BoxyCharm, the only thing I use this for is freckles. Sure. And then I take this, this is just a master's touch like paintbrush that I used to use for liner back in the day. Um, all my freckles were kind of like up here on my cheeks a little bit. Let's stick my finger in there and warm it up just a little bit because it's a little stiff, it's a little stiff and dry. This is like the driest concealer I've ever came across in my life, girl, just saying. There we go, now they're showing up. I just wanna take care of my people. They don't have no wants for that. Trophies, be listening to Drake. The majority of my freckles were up here Here we go, now we coming, now we coming. I had a lot of them like on the end of my nose here. Like I said, all my fucking, 
All my freckles was gone with the wind, girl. This isn't doing as good as it usually, oh, you know what? I bet it's because of the powder. Cause I got powder on there and it's really hard to like stick to that powder. I probably should have done this before, um, before I put my powder on, but that's all right, that's all right. And I'm just gonna take my finger and kinda dab over. I had all the freckles, I'm such an asshole. But you know what? I would rather like not have freckles and have like smooth skin than have freckles and have my skin look like fucking alligator skin because that's what my skin fucking looked like after I got my acne girl. Had all the texture, all the pores. Okay, I think that's good for the freckles. Now on to the eyeshadow. Can I just throw out there that there was no fucking eyeshadow in the 90s. We had fucking eyeliner. Black eyeliner and Every once in a while, somebody had like some silver eyeshadow. So as far as like the liner goes, it was all, nobody tight lined either, but bitch, I'm tight lining because I can't not tight line. Oh yeah, and by the way, I'm using this, um, oh, what is this called? This CoverGirl True Naked. Remember I had this in an Unfavorites, but I liked the brown, but the black like smudged everywhere. But that's why I'm using it because it smudges all over the place because that's what happened uh, when we put our eyeliner on. Girl, we had cheap ass eyeliner. Didn't nobody buy high-end anything. Basically the only high-end anything was like fucking MAC, Estee Lauder, Lancome. Pretty sure Clinique was around back then. All the way to the inner corner, girl. And then on the waterline as well. Lots of it on the waterline. All the way in. All the way around. Who remembers this? I know you bitches remember this because you motherfuckers did it too. And usually we would just take our fingers and like smudge it. But because I have nails, I found something better. Old school little sponge. I found it in my makeup box. It's like an old little sponge. Remember these? So we would take it and just smudge the fuck out of it. No, like, rhyme or reason to it. Just blend it all over. Like, nobody gave a fuck. This stuff really blends out good, doesn't it? I gotta make it so I'm like, see, this is what we used to do with our fingers. We do it with our fingers real good, like this. Maybe I should just use my fingers. Shit, it seems like it's doing better than this little spongy, doesn't it? I'm like concentrating really hard. Can you tell? Because I'm like not saying shit. I'm not talking. Usually I'm so fucking talkative in these. But I'm like super concentrating. Like I want it to look legit. Smudge it down here. And it didn't go very far because all that fucking powder you had on everywhere. You know what I'm saying? We had no eyeshadow. Nobody put eyeshadow on. It was this girl right here. That is what's up. Yes. I'm feeling my 90s self right now. Here we go. I might put a little bit more on. I don't know though, this this seems like it's pretty good. What I remember from 90s makeup is, if I think back about what myself looked like, I kind of look like somebody that just like slept in their makeup, you know what I mean? But it was like always intentional, you know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't like, oh, I slept on my makeup and my stuff's all smudgy. No, it was like, bitch, you look like you slept in that shit. I feel like I need more. Always more, girl. Always more. Always more. Oh my god. Hey, what's up, fucking 16 year old Nikki? Take the finger again. <laughs> I said, take the finger again, and then use the other finger. Take finger again. Smudge that shit out again. It never went up like over, you know what I mean? Like over your, um, like it was never a crease. Like nobody had fucking crease colors. You know what I'm saying? Like it was just like when I, what I remember from the 90s is, and I still have ladies like to this day that want um, like instruction on how to do their makeup, like women in their 40s or 50s. Because back then um, when it came to makeup, the instruction was we were always told you start dark at the lash line and then get lighter as you go up. Obviously that's different um, now, but I still have ladies that come into Ulta 
Um, and I tell them like, yo, it's not like that anymore. It's not, you know, when we were growing up, it was, you know, dark at the base and then lighter as you went up, but it's kind of opposite now, depending on your eye shape. So a lot of people still, you know, live by that theory that darker the lash line, lighter as you go up. Um, and not that it like looks bad on some people. It does look really good, but you know, nobody wants to fucking rock like a smoky eye on the daily girl. I got eyeliner. I still have like little spots for my glasses. I shouldn't have worn my glasses earlier. So once I get this all blended in and cleaned up, I mean, that's about as clean as it goes. That's how it was, girl, because we would take our fingers and I can see myself in my bathroom, like in my parents' house, like smudging my makeup, putting more and more and more on it and smudging it more and more and more. I'm not gonna get crazy with it um, today just because I do have to fucking go out in public today. Okay, so when it came to mascara, um, I did have an eyelash curler just because my mom had an eyelash curler. I'm pretty sure it was hers or maybe it was my sister's. I don't know, but I remember having a, like an eyelash curler um, and curling my lashes. Nothing like crazy. I would just bump it on my lashes real quick. And I did not have any fucking lashes when I was, you know, of that age. Just gonna take my Jordana Best Lash Extreme just cause it's like what's right beside me. All the fucking, oh my God, I can't get it open. Hold on. Oh my God. I cannot get it open. Why can't I get this open? Uh, uh. My hands are like all greasy. What is going on? Hold on, I got like lotion and shit on my hands. Son of a bitch! There we go. Gotcha! Okay, Jordana Best Lash Extreme. When it came to lashes in the 90s, bitch, we fucking put it on. Oops, this is what we do. Oops, I got mascara on, let's rub it out. <laughs> So once I get this all blended in and cleaned up, I mean, that's about as clean as it goes. That's how it was, girl, because we would take our fingers and I can see myself in my bathroom, like in my parents' house, like smudging my makeup, putting more and more and more on it and smudging it more and more and more. I'm not gonna get crazy with it um, today just because I do have to fucking go out in public today. Okay, so when it came to mascara, um, I did have an eyelash curler just because my mom had an eyelash curler. I'm pretty sure it was hers or maybe it was my sister's. I don't know, but I remember having a, like an eyelash curler um, and curling my lashes. Nothing like crazy. I would just bump it on my lashes real quick and I did not have any fucking lashes when I was, you know, of that age. Just gonna take my Jordana Best Lash Extreme just cause it's like what's right beside me. All the fucking, Oh my God, I can't get it open, hold on. Oh my God, I cannot get it open. Why can't I get this open? Uh, uh, my hands are like all greasy. What is going on? Hold on, I got like lotion and shit on my hands. Son of a bitch! Uh, uh, there we go, gotcha! Okay, Jordana Best Lash Extreme. When it came to lashes in the 90s, bitch, we fucking put it on. Oops, this is what we do. Oops, I got mascara on, let's rub it out. <laughs> oh my God, I remember my friend Melissa when we were younger. That just reminded me. We were, I don't know if we were at my house. No, we were out at my cousin's house. And my, like when I was younger, we didn't have a lot of money. Um, my best friend had you know, less money than we even had. Um, she would, you know, she was like really, really, her family did not barely have any money at all. And we were out at my cousin's house and my cousin's um, house was like this big ass house and her parents had like money and uh, we were out there doing something. I don't even remember what we were doing. We were eating something and it like spilled on the carpet and my cousin Amanda's like, oh my God, like freaking out. And we <laughs> rub that shit in rub that shit in oh no i think it was like ashes that's what it was we were like smoking cigarettes or fucking smoking bones who fucking knows what we were smoking and it dropped on the floor and amanda's like freaking out and melissa goes rub that shit in <laughs> i will never fucking forget
forget that. I still, to this day, like when I spill something or I see somebody spill something, I'm like, rub that shit in. <laughs> oh, that bitch was so funny. God, we used to get into so much fucking trouble when we were younger. My cousin and I would get into so much trouble that at one point her mom was like, Nikki and Amanda aren't allowed to hang out anymore. They get too much trouble together. My mom got so fucking pissed because she's like, they're cousins. You can't keep them from hanging out with each other. That's asinine. Like, they're fucking teenagers. They're going to get in trouble. You know what I mean? This is like a fucking trip down memory lane, girl, isn't it? I am not, I, god damn it, I keep getting it on myself. Let me pile my mascara on real quick and then I'll come back and we'll talk about some lips, girl. Oh, and our bottom lashes, remember this? Look, you would take the top of the thing and go like this. Who remembers that shit? Who remembers that? We were always told this is how you put lashes on your, or this is how you put mascara on your bottom lashes, is taking the top of the thing and going like this. <laughs> and your lashes were like, so fucking clumpy after that. I never had lashes like this. Like when I was younger, I didn't have lashes. As some of you guys know, I use, um, what is it called? Lash serum on my lashes. So I would love to have lashes like this. Like in the 90s when I was younger, my lashes were like these little fucking nothings, nothing of nothingness. So onto the lips, 90s lips girl right here urban decay roach i'm pretty sure i fucking own this in the 90s because if you do not know uh urban decay was created i want to say either 1994 or 1996 they first came out with nail polishes and then they came out with these lipsticks this one's roach i'm fucking almost positive i own this one because i thought i was like so fucking primo because i owned um like a high-end lipstick okay so um Brown eyeliner, that's what we use for lip liner, was brown fucking eyeliner, girl. I'm just saying what I did. Maybe y'all didn't do that. So let me line my lips with some brown eyeliner. All right, brown eyeliner, lined it up. Now, Urban Decay Roach. Oh yeah, is like that good? Mm-hmm. Yes, girl. Yes, that is what is up. This is fucking like. 90s right here my hair would be like mm. I always had short hair actually I had like a like an angle bob and I would always like do all my hair like this look oh sit can you see my extensions I hope not I do this like super hella deep side part maybe on this side which side was it my hair always like went so good right there like this Maybe it was better on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> my hair was like so much shorter. It was more like this. Okay, I had to pin my hair up because I'm like, y'all gotta see. I just I just want to be authentic. I wish I had, um, I always had that problem right there. I remember that from when I was younger, but I always had that little gap because my hair was so fine and I would always like try to pin it over. But this is like what my hair looked like in the 90s. I kind of am like not mad at it y'all i forgot how much i loved having short hair because i could like tease the fuck out of it and it would look awesome and then i do this deep ass side part like i got going on here i wish i had jewelry to put in my face because i don't know if i've ever well i know i've told some of you guys here but there are a lot of new people here which thank you for subscribing i saw that we finally fucking tipped over twenty nine thousand. jesus I've been at 28,000 for, I swear to God, what seems like a fucking year now, or maybe even longer, which is not a cohesive with my channel. I think, and I've told you guys before, I think it's just like something fucked up with YouTube. So we're finally over 29,000. So thank you to those of you guys who have subscribed. Welcome to my crazy ass world. Uh, that sounded kind of lame, but yeah. Thanks for being here and shit. But anyways, this is what I look like in the 90s. I wish I had jewelry to put in my face because um, I'm, I've told you guys before, as I said, but some of you guys that are new or newer may not know that I had 11 piercings um, in my face at one time. I had two in my eyebrow here, two in my eyebrow here. The one, I, I, my eyebrow holes are actually, I can still put ring. I can put rings in everything except for my septum. So two here, two here. 
Um, I remember I took this one out so quick that it didn't leave a hole, so I've only got one on this side. So I had two over here, two over here, had one in my nose, one in my septum, one here, one here, my tongue. Um, where else? Let me think. Let me think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I had right here, obviously, ten. And then there was something else. Something else that I can't remember. What was it? Because I know I had eleven. Um, I don't remember what it was. I guess it doesn't it doesn't really matter, but y'all can see my holes still, and I can still put jewelry in it. I just choose not to. Um, sometimes I do when I'm feeling fucking frisky, but normally I don't just because I'm a mom. I took a lot of it out after I had Aiden because uh, I got tired of fucking doctors. And as y'all know, I live like in a super fucking small um, rural area in Ohio. And I got tired of doctors and teachers and shit like that staring at me and like not taking me seriously. So um, I took a lot of them out. I took all of them out actually. So... I used to be like super down with piercings in the 90s. I mean, I was like one of the first people at my school to like get a facial piercing. Oh my God. So <laughs> this is so fucked up. I'm gonna tell you guys this story. When I was younger and I was in high school, this guy who was boyfriends with one of my good friends, um, he ended up living with me after like a year or two. Um, my parents ended up taking him in. But anyways, he was a piercer. He pierced at a tattoo shop in a town. Um, you know, a few miles away from us. And I wanted my eyebrow pierced and he was like, just buy the jewelry. And back then you couldn't get like piercing jewelry for what you can now. Like you can fucking go online and buy like a barbell or a hoop or like actual stainless steel piercing jewelry for fucking pennies on the dollar. Back then it was actually really expensive. Like it was like 15 to $20 just for a small little hoop with a like a little bead on it or whatever. So I had no money. My parents wouldn't give me the money for it. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna fucking take up a collection at school. So at lunch one day, um, where I went to school at, after lunch, we would all like hang out in the gym until lunchtime was over. And I went around and asked everybody to donate for my eyebrow piercing. And it, like so many fucking people did. I collected $28 from that. My principal stopped me at one point and was like, um, what, what are you taking donations for? I was like, vitamins. I'm taking donations for vitamins. Um, cause I really need these vitamins and I don't have enough money for them. And he was like, okay. Okay. <laughs> but I ended up collecting $28 and then that was like my first eyebrow piercing. I got my eyebrow pierced for the first time. I thought it was cool as shit, girl. I thought it was cool as shit. And then after that, I like had collected so much money that I had enough money. Um, or no, 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 no. That was a different one. That was a different piercing. Um, I bought, maybe I got my eyebrow twice. I think that's what it was. I ended up getting two. Um, because I had so much money left over because the barbell or the hoop was like $17. So I ended up buying like two of them um, and got my eyebrow, eyebrow pierced twice. I think that's what it was. Because um, when I got my tongue pierced, I went to a tattoo shop, begged my fucking mom to take me to get my tongue pierced. And um, my friend at the time who like pierced my eyebrow, um, I don't know that he had gotten trained yet i don't know something happened that um he wasn't doing tongue piercings like at the time like he hadn't learned how to do it or whatever um and my mom took me to a local tattoo shop and it cost 75 fucking dollars to get my tongue pierced piercings were not like they are now i know like my friend's husband's shop um they're a little bit more on the pricier side than what they used to be it was like when piercings like first hit the scene, they were like fucking 50 to $70. It was crazy. Your tongue was like 75 bucks just to get an eyebrow. It was like 40 or $50. Um, and then the price went way down. Like you could get fucking piercings for like five or $10 plus the purchase of jewelry. And then I think now, um, the only tattoo shop that I've been to in the past probably five fucking years is my friend's husband's shop. So, um, and they're like kind of, moderately in between like really super pricey and really really cheap but anyways yeah that was what the kind of person i was when i was younger i was such a little fucking shit anyways let me know what you guys wore in the 90s like what your makeup looked like how you beat your face and 
that's what's up. Thank you to all the new subscribers here. I really appreciate it. Welcome to the fucking fam, bash. I don't, I don't know what that was. I'm fucking weird. Why do you guys like me? Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you're not. Make sure you hit the bell, girl, because that way you know you won't get unsubscribed if you have notifications. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Thank you for watching. I already said that. Turn notifications. Where am I at? My outro. Um, oh, follow me on all my church media here. It's right here. It's right here. And I will catch you guys. And my next one, peace.